So that was the conclusion of our puzzle portion, and our next portion is going to be uh, preparing to build a computer, which I'm going to be doing with the help of my friends, Saf and Jess and Ben. Jess, okay. ben, ben, and uh, for the next half hour or so, um, they're going to walk you through the parts that were ordered and discuss them with you guys. So if you have any questions or if you want to know what is going to be happening, I can't answer any of them. So I'm going to be listening just like you are. So uh, yeah, take that in and enjoy. And cool. I'm going to leave you in their capable hands. Nice. I'm Sapphire Siren, go up Saf. Uh, so I kind of have a lot of the gear that Jasper uses. So. Um, since she's been streaming on one of my PCs, I'm going to build a second PC and she's going to put it together uh, so that I can play Windows games with her. Uh, for anyone who hasn't built a PC before, uh, maybe not knows, maybe someone who doesn't know all like the ins and outs, um, and even for enthusiasts, just wanted to like talk through all the parts that I've ordered that are going to make up the PC. Uh, ben, ben helps me uh, build the one that uh, we're streaming on right now. And uh, Jess also knows a good bit about uh, computer parts, also a yeah. gamer. And... I, I was there when this PC <laughs> was built. Uh, can't say I helped, but I was there. You helped us program the, the RGBs. That I did. I, I did that a little bit. Yes. Cool. I'm not useless. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so um, the PC parts, uh, I just posted a link in chat. Um, that goes to my PC parts picker page that has all of uh, all these guys up here. Um, so you can see all the parts that yeah. were picked for the PC. Yeah. So we're going to start with um, our core components, and so we've got a uh, oh we got to go to workshop camera here. Cool. Um, got my own chat up on my MacBook, and um, just going for kind of a more budgetish approach. I spent a little bit more money on peripherals because I'm likely to have those for a longer term. Um, the Core i3 8100 at this point, it's a pretty basic CPU, but it's right now it's a, a really good place in the cost to performance uh, curve where it's, it's one of the most uh, efficient buys for CPU performance. Um, it, it really is. <laughs> uh, it's like, I don't, I don't, I'm not planning to overclock this. Um, it's just, I wanted a, a current gen CPU and this had a really good value. So I spent about like 114 on this, I think. I uh, got a good price on it. So it's, uh, it's got a good benchmark to cost ratio right now, which is was why I, I picked it. Um, the motherboard, we're going with the Z370M Azrock. Uh, so this is also not really an overclocking motherboard. Um, I am an overclocking, but we're not really doing that with this PC. So this was a good budget pick. It was on sale for the holidays um, and it's the Z370 type. So it's the right chipset for the Intel. Um, and that's, well, those are those two parts. We've got uh, a G-Skill eight gigabytes RAM. Uh, the speed is 3200, which is a little bit fast for the base clock on um, Guns of the Hellgast. Hey man, yeah, PC Mustard Race, yeah man. Uh, 28 Ti. OP, yes. OP for, yeah, for OP, consoles? OP for everything, right? OP and There's, there's no such thing right as <laughs> too overpowered as far as a graphics card goes. There is such a thing as too overpriced. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for console streaming, for console streaming, you don't really even need a graphics card at all. Yeah. Um, you just need a graphics capture card and most of that's going to run the, the processing through the CPU. So your CPU matters more for a streaming device. The only reason that you might want a decent GPU to stream console through a PC is if you're also doing other like displays on your computer. Mm -hmm. Because you need to make sure that it's got yeah. the capability of doing yeah. multiple displays. That's a good point. But you'll get that with like any mid-range card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and even the the, the, the Cocky Lake series and newer also has integrated graphics as well. So I could probably play Stardew on this just Are without you? a GPU. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I played games like Stardew on my old, like, crappy PC before I put in uh, a secondary video card. Mm -hmm. Like, before I had a dedicated GPU, I yeah. was just playing on the fucking yeah. processor, and yeah. it, it's, it's, it's fine. Do it. yeah. <clears throat> There's also cha channels that do, like, extreme low poly gaming, where they... Mm -hmm. Mod it so it's like well below what it should be running. Crisis at, potato so. mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, so, Lord, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got uh, G Skill 3200 speed, uh, 60 with gigabytes. RGB. With RGBs. <laughs> uh, so, with RGB. Yeah, I'm not going to overclock this RAM anytime soon, so there are more performant overclocking memory sticks, but I wanted these to be pretty because of the case that we got has a nice open side panel, so this is some pretty good RAM. Uh, I got a good price on it for Black Friday, too. Um, the kind of storage isn't really a core component, but because it's an M2. Uh, card. We're just going to go ahead and put it on the motherboard straight away, um, even though we don't really need to put that on to get it to post. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that first. So I like going a little bit higher spec on the on the the C drive disc to start with, um, just because it's I don't really want to have to migrate my stuff. <laughs> so if I do upgrade like a motherboard or especially like the motherboard and the CPU, I'll I'd rather just be able to pull. The, the SD card out and plug that in without really having to migrate my data. So I tend to overspec a little bit on storage first, mostly for longevity. So uh, we got the, the 970 Evo, one terabyte, uh, it's very fast IOPS. Um, and it's like, I think the 960 Evo that I have in this machine boots in like three seconds. I'm over here laughing it's... because you are, you're setting up like your <clears throat> dedicated secondary gaming PC <laughs> with a hey, terabyte fun. solid state drive. And I'm just like, I'm still working on HDD on my rig at home. <laughs> I need know. to upgrade that shit. <laughs> Makes a big difference. It really does. I have... I, big God, difference. The games are getting big. You know, I really, yeah, I went back and forth on getting the 500, and uh, I have a, I have a 500. Mm -hmm. That sucker's almost full. Yeah, so. yeah. I was like, you know, like I with Red Dead balance. being a hundred gigs, mm -hmm. it's yeah. like this is gonna, this is just gonna fill up so fast. Well, and to be honest, I have two HDDs mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. my desktop. I have mm -hmm. two and a half terabytes of space. Uh, yeah. they're making I it a lot still... easier to install to a secondary. Oh yeah, as well. no, it's yeah. so yeah. easy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good to know. Yeah, I've seen a lot of setups that use um, like a smaller uh, NVMe as sort of a, a an Optane cache. Uh, I don't quite know how that works as far as configuration goes. Mm -hmm. Future proof PC <laughs> recommendation. What is LYHO? Uh, IYHO, in your humble opinion. <laughs> Your recommendation for a future-proof PC. Um, if you're gonna future-proof, you're gonna <coughs> don't bother. <laughs> no. Future-proof yeah. the box and like the accessories and like invest yeah. in the stock market. Yeah. No future-proofing. <laughs> it's you can do it, but yeah, it depends on like what components you care about. The GPU is the easiest to swap out. So I tend to spend a little bit more on, um, that's actually a good lead in to some of our other components. So I'm gonna stock these up um, because these these tend to be the quickest ones that get depreciated yeah. in addition to the graphics card. Well, and in, in my note on that, since I just did this, um, I upgraded my motherboard and my processor recently. And that is, oh, thanks Branch. <laughs> Putting you to sleep. Uh, but yeah, motherboard <laughs> and processor are the things that are the biggest pain in the ass to replace. Uh, so I would say if you want a future proof, as in not open up your box again, then that's the one to really focus on. And we will see you when you come back, Branch. We should only be doing this bit, like the talking. Oh, right. Yeah, so Jasper will be back at 445. So so come back, Branch. Yeah. Um, this but we'll is, see you soon. This is nerdy stuff. It'll get more fun once we're actually putting it together. It will, it will. So please, please come back. Bye. <clears throat> okay, yeah. so on that note, too, um, oh, this, this is my old... <laughs> I have not sprung for a new graphics card for this. So I we guess. are reusing um, a hand-me-down GPU to start oh, with. And this uh, is yeah, the... It's the Radeon R7 270X? 260X. Yeah. Um, so this gets about 3,000 on the GPU benchmark uh, website, which, uh, for reference, the, the, the 1050, the, the, the GTX 1050 gets about 6,000. So uh, this is, what, how old? Five, six years? All right, it's behind our heads. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I bought it. For four and a half years ago, okay. right after we moved into okay. my place. Um, at that time, it was about a year and a half old. Like, not this particular one, but the model of it. 
So like it is not new. It does work. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the GPU is the easiest thing to replace. So for future proof, I'm saving money on this because I'm going to upgrade the card. Uh, really, I'm probably going to get a GTX 2080 Ti sometime next year to put in this machine, <laughs> and then yeah, it's I gotta. It's going to be a little while. If you're on a budget too. I, yeah, exactly. If you're on a budget too, like the GPU is the easiest thing to upgrade, mm -hmm. um, and they thankfully the crypto. Is well, that's why it's, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> your mileage yeah. might vary with some of those because yeah. they were in the crypto mines getting run 24-7, yep. but yep. there's a lot of really good um, <clears throat> cards for very cheap. Yes, um, so as far as like... Enjoy your food, Branch. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Branch. Nice. Yeah, come back. Get some food. <clears throat> um, so I so for this, kind of for future proof... Um, I've gone with the the Fantex Evolve Shift um, ITX case. That's pretty. Which yeah, it's it's gorgeous. Um, I I like it a lot. I like gorgeous cases. If you couldn't tell. Um, so it's got open in inside of it. Um, I spent a little bit more money on this and some of the more hard hardware -y components. Um, mostly. The, the power supply requires a, um, this case requires a small form yeah, factor power supply. So it's pretty limited in options there. I decided to, to spend a little bit more and get the 600 watts in order to have like room to grow with a, with a higher power um, graphics card and to, to keep the load around 60% of the rating. Uh, just because power supplies are, they're most efficient and their electricity curves are around 60% load. So if you overspec a little bit, it's it's a little bit more in the short term, but it can save on your electricity costs mm -hmm. over you time. Can also, if you overdraw from one of those, you can not kill good. it. Yeah, <laughs> my brother did yeah. building his own. He got one, and then he got a hand-me-down graphics card from me that drew way more than. <laughs> That's not good. That's <laughs> not good. And you can fry some parts in there. Yeah. So, but if you're future proofing, it's, um. This, you want to get a nice because these will last you for a while. Mm -hmm. These typically have uh, at least a seven, you know, even a ten year. Yeah, I've got them. the one I've got. I bought with my first rig I built in two thousand and ten, and it still works. Uh, so yeah, that this the tower is good. You mm -hmm. want to spend money if you're gonna drop money, drop it on the CPU and yep. the, the board because those will last you through a couple things, and I mm -hmm. guess drop money on the the RAM too as well. Just because if you upgrade the board, sometimes you're going to have to get new RAM anyways. Anymore, <laughs> yeah. Anymore, you kind of have to get all of these core components together. Um, that's maybe a little bit less true between, like, the 8000 and the 9000 series because they're so close. Yeah, I haven't really looked into it that much. Yeah, th <laughs> it's... They're... They're very similar. Um, it's it's because the Turing architecture got delayed, so yeah. they're not going wow. out with that yet. Um, the other thing to, like, spend money on if like if you're going to take the approach of not spending much on the core <laughs> components in the in the short term is like yeah get peripherals that are that are going to last you well for the a while. peripherals are going to last you through until they break basically like your yeah. mechanical keyboard your mouse mm -hmm. i mean i'm not going to yeah. say go drop like a hundred bucks on a mouse but <laughs> no, no no this one i got for 60. get whatever you want but these will these will last you through a couple builds. Yeah, so I went with the the Razer Chroma Black Widow. Uh, so if you get some good input, also like uh, getting a good headset, I already have a, a, a Razer headset as well. Uh, so a lot of your input output devices are they have more longevity. Um, if but again, there's all there's always like the technology curve and the elbow and those as well for like cost value. So a lot of it just depends on on where your budget is at the time, what matters most to you. Uh, my 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 perspective is as like a gamer and as a hardware enthusiast, like, it's just always whatever fits your budget and what's right for you is the best choice. Um, in the yep. short term, so yeah, it's uh, all so about it's, your budget. Yep. <clears throat> and you can all. The nice thing about building PCs is it's easy to put things in and take it out later. Yeah, so. yeah. At least get uh, for me too. The the build that we did in January helped me get over. Uh, some of my apprehensions of getting into like, oh, I'm going to break something, and you realize it's just all of these different component parts that go together. Um, a lot of it is in, a lot of it is in part selection and knowing how to how to pick parts that are going to work well together. So when you're when you're picking your motherboard, or really like you pick your CPU first, 
Um, and then you're going to pick a motherboard and RAM that are going to have the right pinout and then going to have the right uh, memory speeds. Because, um, yeah. yeah. And that's why that, services like PC Part Picker right. are incredible, because yeah. if you're like me yeah. and, and you PC know building. just yeah. enough to be dangerous, yep. yes. that will help you make sure yep. everything is actually compatible. PC yep. building subreddit's really good, too. Yep. And, and also, getting pre-built as well uh, can also be a great place to start as well, because those are... There, those are going to be people who are going to know at least enough of the basics to get component to to allow selection of components that are generally going to work together. So New at least with like always has like yeah. a few really solid yeah. budget rigs that'll work just fine. Oh, that and that's even fine. like the DIY bundles as well. You can start yeah. with the DIY bundles, but also I buy power and cyber power um, are pre-built yeah. assemblers. Uh, the only consideration there is they typically come with OEM Windows licenses, which will not be transferable if you learned this lesson. I did. Uh, <laughs> which are not transferable if you swap out, uh, say, like the motherboard and the CPU. And so I think I think the way the Windows license works is it attributes itself to the the C drive serial number, the motherboard, and the CPU. Yeah. And you can swap one of them out. Yeah. Uh, but if you swap two or three of them out. It basically then, thinks you're pirating. Yeah, that you have a new computer because those are the those are the serial numbers that it looks at that define your computer. And Probably there's a way you can reset it though. If you have a retail license, you can. Yeah. Yeah, but if you have an OEM, it's not. The OEM is single license for a specific set of builds, and that's one of the ways that you may mistakenly save some money on getting an OEM box. But if you if you specifically get the full tree, full retail version of a Windows license then uh, you'll be able to transfer that license to any single computer. You'll lose it on, on the old machine, but say if you're moving parts around, uh, you're probably destroying the original computer anyway. So um, that's something to keep with in mind. Axe. Yes, with an axe. Or by overclocking it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which we might, we might do at some point, on, probably more on my stream. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> not here. Down the line, we're going to have some fun with that. We will. We will. It's going to be good. So I don't know where Jasper is. Um, be back soon, so she should be getting back soon. She's um, disappeared. Let's see if we can find her. I thought she'd come back up, but then I realized, oh, no, maybe not. Yeah. They might just be chatting. I'm not quite sure what happened to them. In the meantime, I'll entertain you with my oh, dulcet tones. <laughs> <laughs> Fly me to the moon. I don't Wait, remember the rest of the some Carly Rae on. I thought it would be. Let me see what. Yeah, it was. I was, was like. I was oh. a little bit on this case a lot. We're gonna use thermal grizzly cryonaut just because I have an open tube of it. It's totally overkill for an eighty one hundred that can't overclock anyway, but I already have it. At least so. this is like things like the thermal paste is like five dollars though. So yeah, save five bucks. You already got some. Well, yeah, I still have some that I bought in two thousand and ten that I'm still slapping in there. So. Yeah. I Hey, it'll, well, thermal paste doesn't, as far as I know, it doesn't really go bad, but it's also not very expensive. One would, uh, one would hope it doesn't go bad. I haven't actually looked inside this case. Me neither. So this should be fun. It's gonna be fun. Are you in the bedroom this whole time? Yes. They've just been chatting. <laughs> yep, I've just been here. I thought you left. <laughs> no, I'm here. Okay. Cool. Well. All right, you might want to have leave that case up here. What? We're gonna, we need to attach something. We're gonna put it together on the box. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So exactly. we need something metal to clip her into. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want the case? Just, uh, if you've got the case, I mean. Hold on. Can I? Um. Let's see. See, this can is we, the part. Can where we put it here? Honestly, to yeah. Having just Ben here, who knows what he's doing, yes. is so much better than the way that I did it when I was putting new parts yeah. into my shit. Because I was like. Oh, yeah, static? I don't need to worry about that. Uh, you, I got lucky. It's, well, we're not really standing. We're standing on, like, hardwood here, so it's probably it's, fine. Yeah. Probably fine. <laughs> I, I knew a guy... I have I have yet to zap something in my computer, not on wood, yeah. but, you know... <laughs> I knew a guy back in high school who used to be, like, super into PC builds, and this was back in, like, 2006. Uh, but the one thing that I ever actually talked to him about it... He told me that because the room that he built his computer in was carpeted, yep. he always yeah. he always did every build naked. Uh, I don't and know about that. And that was about the time where I was like, <laughs> okay, I don't need to hear more. 
And that kind of, like, scared me off of... Well, that and the fact that I didn't have any money because I was, like, 16. Scared me off of building my own computers because I had this paranoia that, oh, if I touch it wrong, I'll break it. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of realized, no, that guy was just insane. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> really. As long as you touch something that's metal before you touch the parts to discharge the static, it's fine. Yeah. Or you can get one of these. I, mean, I just hook it around my ankle, but... Yeah. Or you can put it on your arm, but then it's kind of in the way. <clears throat> it can be. You gotta watch out. Mm -hmm. if, if We're gonna have to take the sides off one of those. Oh, yeah, that's fine. But you might okay. want to make a big deal out of pulling that. Everybody loves that. You're pulling yeah. this protected oh, stuff. It's, a, it's yeah. a nice, fun you noise. Yeah. You can do that. I'm not gonna do that. That's, this is Amy's computer. It's, yeah, that's... Jazz. Well, no, it's not this one. <laughs> this one's Saf's. This one's for me. Oh, it is? Yeah. Jasper Stream, oh, it's it ASMR. ASMR. It's not close enough to the mic. Oh, he's got a pretty strong mic. It is. <clears> it's <throat> picking up. It's in the stereo mode. So, uh, can I say goodbye to my brother and, his, and my sister? After I take the other plastic off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've started something here. Wow. ASMR stream. No. <laughs> 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 Ready for these good crinkle tinkles? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how oh I've heard it described. Gosh. The crinkle ASMR tinkles. feeling is the crinkle tinkles. I like it. The crinkle tinkles. Crinkle. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I we're gonna say goodbye now to Britt and Skip. Bye. Bye. My brother and sister-in-law. They're gonna head out to get some food. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah. Thanks we'll, for we'll hopefully be on the chat later. So. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Bye guys. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna get this thing open. <laughs> okay. There's like bear growls. <laughs> <laughs>